Are you all comprehending the meaning behind what we've been doing with this TVM solver? Okay, so, I mean, there's so much to think about that th this will work for you. And again, I've told you and I've suggested to you that if you know exactly what you're, you're getting into, you won't be let down. You know, if you go and sit there and keep buying lottery tickets, yeah, you might win a little bit, so you're like, oh, going to hit it big now. No, that's that should not be a financial plan for you. And unfortunately, a lot of people will choose to buy lottery tickets because they are trying to hit it big, but a lot of times they had made the wrong choice. Friends, you have, you have time on your side now. Okay, so scenario one, 55 year old person or married couple or whatever decides, okay, we want to retire at age 65. Okay, so we're going to start investing. So they have 10 years left let's say these people want to have a half million dollars when it's all said and done okay now let's, let's figure out like you know a half million dollars is that really enough to theoretically retire on that is a really small shoestring budget. Okay, but let's just say you have a 55 year old wants to go 10 years, and they're like, "Hey, you know what? We found we found a an account that's going to get us nine percent." Okay. So these people realize 55 years old, we're going to start saving now. So let's figure out how much these people have to save in 10 years to get to this half million dollar nest egg. Okay, th and again, my friends, this is not a good financial plan. But I understand a lot of things do take place in life, but if you prepare to fail, that might not be a good thing. I like to prepare to succeed. And yes, there's road bumps along the way. And you all know that an obstacle is something you see once you take your eyes off the goal. So think about that. So let's, uh, let me just jot this down the side. Or I got this. All right, so let's go into our TBM solver. So, dang it. Trying to hit that. All right, so 10 years, they're going to put, they're going to do, hmm, let's say they are able to do every other week. So that would be 20, every other week, if there's 52 weeks in a year, what's half 52? 26? So they're going to put 260 payments into this particular account. This account started with zero. They want to have a future value of a half million dollars. Okay. Um, let's say it's compounding every month. So we need to figure out this payment. So we're going to go alpha enter. All right. So they have to put in. Oops. I was off. I had to put this to be 9%, right? Is that what I said? So they need to put in $627.39 every two weeks into this account. And by the time they hit 65, they have their half million dollars. Okay? Now, friends, $627 every two weeks. 
might seem like a lot right now, but in your career, does that seem like it'd be, I mean, you're talking under $1,300 a month that you're putting away. Seem okay? Mm -hmm. Is that bad? Is it low, high, in between? I don't know. I'm trying. Yeah, $1,300 a month. Seem Depends high? How Depends how much you're making, yeah. Okay. So, these people needed to put $627 every two weeks into an account for 10 years to get to their half million dollars. Okay. So, this is what we have to think about. I'm going to write times 260 because we'll take care of that in a minute. Okay? So let, let's, let's go opposite end of the spectrum. Let's go opposite end. Let's say, let's say, stir up students who went through the financial planning think that Okay, stir up. I think that the 627 every two weeks is too much money. I think if I do at age 20 and you want to retire at 50 or 65, okay, so you're talking about 45 years, same 9%, but stir up, we might be able to do 627.39 every month. Okay, 45 years, every month. So that's going to be every month now. <coughs> every month, we said 45 years times 12. That's 50, uh, 540 payments, 9% still. Present value was zero at the beginning. We're going to make a payment of <coughs> 627. We have to figure out the future value. Did we do everything right? Let's see. We did 12 times what, 45? Is that what we did? Okay. 9%. So so the old people, the 55-year-olds, try are trying to get a half million by putting in 627.39 every month or every other month. Or excuse me, twice a month. Every other week. The student you says. I'm not going to go every month. I'm going to go, I'm not going to go every or twice a month. I'm going to or every other week. I'm going to go just once a month. Same exact payment. So you're paying a lot less. Okay? So Okay? So one group is 627.39 times 260. One group was 627.39 times 540. Why is this bigger? More, more time. 12 times a year versus 26 times a year. I put money in. So let's just see, just for the sake of it, what's this going to happen to? Um... Um, four, six, four, five, two, eight, nine. Let's just round it. Four million gonna change your retirement a little bit versus the other people who are 65 that were hoping for a half million. Dang. Okay, inflation. You're absolutely right. And the, the the thing is, this doesn't necessarily account for inflation. A lot of times, the inflation will be built into your funds. So it'll, it'll happen automatically. But still, $4 million. So you got the one group 
You, you got the person who said, hey, I invested for 45 years, $627.39, or 33 cents, I guess it is. I invested that once a month for 45 years in this same account that these uh, this other family came to who said, hey, we're going to start at 55 and go to 65. And the other family's hoping to get to a half million. <sighs> yeah. Right. Uh, what, what's the average age of uh, people in the United States, I think, is about 78, 79. And that's average. Not saying that you would stay that way, but let's say let's just round it to 80. So that's 15 years beyond 65, right? Could you could you make it happen? Yeah. I mean, I in my opinion, I think there's some really kind of cool trips that could be planned in there. Yeah. And not like, oh, we can go for like this off season that that 4 million is hey we're going to disney world and we're getting the fast pass on everything all the time the other people are like this the 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 older people so so let's just look i mean you're talking 4 million these guys were hoping to get to half a million okay so let, let's Let's just even, let's just take all that into account. So the people that were 55 to 65 were getting the half million dollars, and they did $627.33 times 260. That's one number. And then you had the 20 to 65 years, 65 year old. So that was 45 years. Did $627.33 times 540. So yeah, they had more here that they did. But they did it once a month. These guys did it every other week for 10 years. These guys did it once a month. So yeah, these guys have a heck of a lot more. So let's... uh. Let's just even play with that. Even see, you know, so 627.33 times 260. So the 55 to 65 year old 10 year span, those people put in 163,105 dollars of their own money in. That means that they came out with the account that they were in to make 336,895 extra dollars on top of it. So that seems like kind of a good thing. Well, let's take. Let's take these other guys. So 627, 33 times 540, which is going to be a larger number. So these guys, over 40 years, or 45 years, 75, put in about double to get to. Four, six, four, five, two, eight, nine, minus three, three, eight, seven, five, eight, minus four, nine. 
So yes, this group for 45 years, the 20 year old till 65, put in a total amount of their money at $627 a month for 45 years, got up to this amount, which means they made profit $4,306,530 profit. And the only thing that was on that person's side, those younger people's side, was they had the time. Okay? This is a, this is scary. This is scary because there's a lot of people nationwide who think, I'll just, I'll wait till tomorrow to start saving. Well, tomorrow comes. I'll get it next time. Next time comes. Eh, I don't know. Wait some bigger bills this month. Let's wait. And they put it off. I don't know where y'all want to be when you retire, but I, I got to tell you, I really want to be part of this group. I mean, think about that. I mean, so we decided, what, 15 years after you retire? If, if you went from 65 to 80, that's 15 years. Let's not even be morbid. Let's just say we all have the wonderful longevity gene, and we all get to lead, live to the life to be 100 years old. I had a friend of mine. Yeah, I, I had a great aunt who just passed away. How old was she? 104. We're really sad to see her go. Are you kidding? She was 104? That, like, that's amazing to me. Now, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to stop what I do because I love what I do. But I can assure you that if I make it to the rightful age of 104, I probably won't be in this classroom any longer. It's like, Stern, you're teaching our grandkids, man. You're old. Oh, I remember back. All right, so so let's let's take this four six four four six four five two eight nine, and let's break it up. So we're going to use that same program. Oops, not there. I'm use this. So I have it still up there. All right, so I'm going to do. I'm going to change that up here. I'm going to go four six four. Five two eight nine point six eight future value we're gonna get to zero still sitting in the account but now we're redirecting the money so from sixty five to hundred is how many years thirty five years that, did I do that math right okay. So 35 years, I think if we get a, a get a check, heck, you know what? Let's do this. Just because, you know, we're getting older, we want to check every week, right? I, I don't want to wait every month. I want every week because it's my money, right? You with me? Every week. So 35 years, every week, there's 52 weeks in there. Yeah, all right. So that's 1,820 payments that they're going to give me from the week after I turn 65. So for me, January 6th. No, the week after. I'm December 30th. So the week after my 65th birthday, I want to start getting this money. Every week. Every week. Okay, it's still sitting in that same account that's busting out 9%. So, we want to see what this payment every week is going to be to me. I saved this money. I got $4 million in change to play with. Now I just want to be that jerk that takes my money every week. Okay. Oh. 
Huh. Could that even be possibly right? Number of payments, 1829, 1820. Future value, zero. Payment. That can't be right. Or can it be? Oh, hang on. Payments per year. That's what we messed up. 52 payments per year. Let's see what that's going to change. Go back to my payment. So alpha, enter. Oh, yep, that, that's where I made an error. So being I'm taking those 52, so there's 1,820 payments that I'm going to take from 65 in a week until I'm 100 years old. And if I do this, this is going to allow this account to go down to zero. Follow me on this? Friends, what can you do with $8,400 a week? You think about what that retirement looks like. Think about what $8,400 a week of your own money that you made interest on because you invested money. What is $8,400 a week going to feel like? That is a lot of money every week. That's a... Uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, I, I like it. Now, friends, let me ask you. Like, like, I'm not talking, we're not talking, these are the wealthy of the wealthy people. Okay? This guy, our buddy Al, has a quote. And it doesn't have to do with anything about energy. Is the weight of mass equal to the speed of light squared? Albert Einstein. Yes, I understand. There's all these social things that people, oh, I couldn't wear the same shoes. His shirt was often misbuttoned. Didn't learn how to ride a bike until later in life. Couldn't drive. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But Albert Einstein stated Compound interest is the greatest investment tool that would take the average person and make them a millionaire. $627 a month. My friends, I, and I realize a lot of you have jobs. I get it. And you look at your job saying how much you make, you know, you know, with today's day and age, you might make, I don't know, four or $5,000 a year, maybe more, right? But that's different once you become more of a working adult towards, towards life. Think about that, $627. It's not a lot. 627 times 12, someone get a calculator? 627 times 12, how much is that a year? 7,000 bucks a year? 7,500 a year, 7,500 bucks a year. Let's think about that, $7,500 a year. Let's say you make 50,000 a year. So now we roll back to 42.5 because you put that money in. Okay, you're tightening the belt, belt buckle for that starter position job. What's one nice thing about working? You tend to make more and more and more as you move on, right? Those first couple of years are going to be tight. They're going to be really tight. But once you realize you're paying yourself first, that payoff in the end. We just said you're going to get a check for $8,400 every week. Could you imagine? Let's say Wednesday's the day that comes around. Every Wednesday, 
you look in the account and you're like, oh, another 8,400 bucks. That's yours to spend. That's free money. That's like, you, you made that money. I mean, I realized the first couple of weeks, you could probably spend that 8,400 pretty well. But you're going to get it to a point as you're going through going, oh, shoot, I only spent four grand this week. I only spent a grand this week. You know what? We decided to stay home for a couple of weeks, and we're going to cook in the crock pot because we love the chili we make. 8400 bucks a week? That, that's silly. To me, that, that's just genius. Like, I showed you real quick how to become a multimillionaire when you hit 65. That's not a horrible thing. And I showed you, once you become a multimillionaire at 65, my goodness, you're going to get 8400 bucks every week until you're 100 years old? Golly. I mean, even if you decided, you know what, yeah, I get 8400 bucks a week, but you know what? Because I'm fiscally conservative with my money, meaning I'm not going out and you know handing out 20s to people just because, I'm gonna. I'm only gonna spend seventy four hundred of that each week. I'm gonna put a thousand in my mattress each week. Rainy day fund. Put it in the safe in the basement. Crime. You put a thousand dollars each week into the safe in the basement. You got fifty two thousand dollars sitting in your safe in the basement after a year. Friends, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to inspire that going, this is not the hardest thing in the world to do. This is something that if you hear of an instantaneous, this is the best idea and you'll be rich in a year, that's not a good idea. Oh, you should invest in this is not a good idea. Something that's pulling 9% as in a mutual fund or in the stock market, and I wouldn't say lay everything into a certain one fund. Diversify that money, please. Split it up. It is amazing what time will do for you, my friends. Now, the hard thing is, as... A 16 to 18 year old teenager, and the majority of you are thinking as adults, and when I say the majority of you, this, this is the only adult that doesn't think as an adult. Okay, that's me. But I just showed you. I showed you a plan that, gosh, you and your spouse go out to eat. Let's say we decide, oh, what's, what's that uh, restaurant over there in the landmark? Papa Do's? Is that right over there? You ever been over there? Man, you get deep fried alligator over there. Actually, it's a pretty good restaurant. Yeah, they got alligator, but yeah, the other good stuff too. I, I would say that you and your significant other could easily go to Papa Do's and drop 250 bucks on a meal. Um, but you have $8,400 that week to play with. Is $250 really going to hurt you? You're going to have a fantastic meal. Okay, then you go over to Shanahan's. Get the steak that has way too much salt on it. But it's good. $8,400 a week? I don't know what you guys going out to eat. I mean, I know you're, most of you, you know, you got, you got Dairy Queen back there, but... Uh, uh, Chipotle, yeah, that's the best. How many stinking Chipotle meals could you get for 8400 bucks a week? <laughs> 840 10 bucks a meal, right? That's a lot of meals. How many Starbucks could you get each week for 8400 bucks? <laughs> You'd buy five bucks a piece, right? I mean, it's crazy. You start 
thinking about what kind of money that is. That money, my friends, it's not impossible. I'm telling you, I and I realize you are all going to accrue debt at some point in life. It's just the nature of how things are. Lots of people have to buy a house. You have to have a mortgage. You might go into debt for your colleges and things like that. You might go into debt because you have to buy a car. I get it. But my friends, this means this 627 every month means you take care of you first. Everything else is gravy. You take care of you first. I don't know what how you guys want to retire. But I, I don't come up with this kind of stuff because I'm not following what I'm already telling you all. I've already told you that I started investing when I'm 18. Now, if I happen to kick the bucket before I retire, there's, a, there's someone named Susan. That's my wife. She's going to have a pretty darn good retirement. Okay? Okay. So, friends, impossible? No. So, friends, I want to make sure for tomorrow, make sure that those three last questions are done, because I heard some of you say they weren't done. Let's make sure they're done for tomorrow. Deal? If you need it, I have it here. If you still have it, then don't come get it. Hey, what is this? Oh, that's a... Yeah.